Hey everybody, it's me, Aline. I'm back from a long hiatus. I was struggling because my Windows Movie Editor, the simplest movie editor possible, was discontinued. And I had to wait and get Adobe Premiere, and then my cache wasn't big enough, and my C drive wasn't big enough to edit the, f the footage. So here I am. I've been saving all of these wonderful figures for you and for content on my channel. So thanks for bearing with me while I disappeared for a while. We're gonna start with a spooky special. Thank you, Christmas Cactus. Uh, here we're gonna take a look at three different spooky themed uh, figures. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide these guys to the side and we're going to start with this new Pokemon set that just came out. This is from the Pokemon Environment series. This is actually series three. I own two environments so far. I have the forest from series one, and then I have like the water underwater theme. I can't remember if that's series one or two. These are really cool sets. You get a whole backdrop for your Pokemon figures, and they all come with two figures as well. Um, in this particular set, series three, there is the shoreside lake, which is like a beachy area. There is the ancient ruins for fossil types. And then of course, this one I had to get because it's very on brand for me. And this is the Haunted Forest. This just came out recently. I just picked it up at GameStop during the holiday season. So one of the things that drew me to this environment was just how detailed it was. I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy up and let you see. So it's a bunch of haunted trees and mushrooms. Really, really detailed. You can see there's a shelf on this tree for your Pokemon figure. There's a little empty space down here. There's actually a little hole and tunnel. The roots go in every direction. There's detail from all around. So no matter what side you choose to display your Pokemon from, um, it's going to look great. And there's, I would say you could fit one, two, three Pokemon very comfortably on this set. Now it includes two spooky Pokemon for you to start with. I'm just try and pop them out. They're a little wedged in there. It's probably a good thing. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a rubber. Oh, okay. There's those little um, plastic clothing tags holding them in so be careful you don't snap stuff off when you're trying to take them out here's Murkrow our little witch bird he's so cute okay we'll put him in a little perch on top here oh. so he's going to be tricky to pose because he's got little tiny bird feet so I think standing him up is going to be tricky and then of course we have a Mimikyu but one thing I noticed was this is the exact same Mimikyu sculpt they've already used in one of the battle packs in fact I do have one, I'm gonna grab it for you. I actually have one of the exact same Mimikyu already, um, but that's okay. There's the same mold, one is slightly darker yellow than the other, but uh, yeah, you can toss these guys in the tree. Ah, really watch out on those Murkrow feet, trying to get them to balance, that'll be better once he's on the set. Great for uh, you know kids if you want a play set for their Pokemon. I wouldn't say these pieces are loose. It's probably a bit fragile, so they may get broken off, uh, but for display purposes, it's gonna look really great. Um, I'll show you a little glimpse of my wall and where the other environments are so far. I'll throw this stuff down. We'll get rid of that in a bit, clean up crew. And let's take a look at our next spooky figure. This is from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. I've been collecting specifically the Monster of the Day figures. I have, I think, four of them so far. I'm missing a couple. I know I'm missing King Sphinx and Minotaur. But uh, this guy is one of the newer ones. His name is Pumpkin Rapper. And he's, he's, first of all, he raps, but also he's a pumpkin. And yes, his head is supposed to be on upside down, as you can see in the original artwork. Uh, so we're gonna give this guy an open. I found him in this really cool toy shop um, in Monroeville Mall, which if you know anything about horror movies, Monroeville Mall is where Night of the Living Dead was, no, Dawn of the Dead was filmed. Oh my gosh, I am terrible. Um, and so it's famous for like it's, uh, no, it's not the Living Dead Museum, George Romero. Anyway, yeah, there's a Romero bust there and there's um, all kinds of stuff you can go see historically. The mall looks a lot different physically, but it's the same layout that you would see in the movie. It used to look like that when I used to shop there as a kid. Um, anyway, there's this cool shop and it has a lot, a lot, a lot of toys, mostly vintage things you would never see since like maybe the 80s or 90s even things from like the 70s 
um, and pretty good prices on most of it. You could find a few items for like $300 that are really hard to find. I think there was a Star, Star Wars special edition. Like There was an April O'Neil as the Bride of Frankenstein vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure that was like $150. So like there are a few things there that are pricey, but they're like hard to find. But most things you can get a reasonable price. I actually grabbed him because he was $20 and that's about the same you can find him on Amazon for right now on clearance. And um, and yeah, like why not support a small business? So yeah, let's take a look at his articulation. He looks amazing. Um, I know a lot of people complain because the paint job on these monsters is a little more bland than it could be. Like I really want to go in and do some black in the crevices of his eyes and mouth to really make him pop. Um, but he's got a gradient print on his legs that's pretty neat. They did dirty up the creases of the pumpkin, the ribs of the pumpkin. He has articulation in his shoulders and elbows and a uh, little bit in the wrists. They're a little tough to move because his forearms are pretty thick. He bends at the waist in a couple different ways. He's got hips, he's got knees, um, little sculpted pointy boot shoes. I just love them. He does have pegs in his feet or holes for, I guess, a base, but he doesn't come with a base, so I'm not sure they like sell those separate. They're little hex, hexagon holes. Um, and then he comes with a variety of accessories. Most of these monsters have been coming with attacks that they use. So here you can see he's got um, this energy wave, which based on the artwork, is supposed to go around a pumpkin so he's using like his his force energy to lift and throw pumpkins at this one you do get three of them there's no no shortage of pumpkins in the pack here so yeah there's a whole oh, there's a whole bunch of pumpkins I'm gonna try and figure out why they have this hole in the bottom maybe I have to rewatch the episode maybe he made their heads can we exchange their heads with pumpkins because that would be the coolest. Um, he also comes with this lasso made out of vines, which is a really neat accessory. Um, it does fit in his hand. You just gotta kind of finagle the fingers a little bit to open them up. And then he's got an additional set of hands for grasping. You get a total of three little pumpkins and then one other piece of vine. So yeah, for 20 bucks, like maybe not the original, original price, but he's definitely worth it. He's got a cute little bum too. So yeah, he'll be going in my monster collection from, I hope Lightning Collection keeps making these because they're fantastic. Um, and then last but not least for the spooky segment, I have been waiting to open this for like four months, I think. This is my creature from the Black Lagoon figure. Yes, there are a million figures of the creature, but what's cool about him is he's highly detailed. I pre-ordered him. He's a NECA figure, just like the Gremlins line. Um, he's the special color edition where he's in full color. He's got really deep and metallic uh, colors in his scales and he's very detailed versus some of the cheaper uh, items in some of the figure lines. Sure, you can get a, a creature for like 10 bucks, but he's not going to be as detailed as this. So thank you, NECA. And the box is really cool. You got this figure of him here and then like the old poster art. I'm going to actually hang on to this box. Let's free him from his prison and take a closer look. He is held in place with lots of clothing tag ties. So we'll cut him free very carefully because I don't want to slice into his plastic. He's tied in many places. I guess that's good for figure security in shipping, but this seems excessive. See if I can get him out now. Oh boy. There we go. He's free. Wow. All right, I'm going to put him much closer for detail. So here we can see he's got his sculpted face from Millicent Patrick, of course. Thank you so much, Millicent, for creating this beast. Um, really, really detailed. Look at every single ridge. All of these little scales and ridges and edges are painted. The gradient, like they're all tipped in this metallic, which is it's part of getting the special paint version. 
Um, he does have a decent amount of movement. One of the things with Creature is because he's got all these layered scales, sometimes his joints are hard to move because they overlap on each other, kind of like the Gremlins figures. But yeah, he's got, uh, these are actually a little bit flexible. And yeah, look at his feet. I mean, he's got so much detail. Hands, really, really cool figure. Like, love him. Okay, and then in case you want to get more posy with him, he does come with two alternate faces. Uh, so he's got three different variants of open mouth, right? Yelling, questioning, and of course the one he came with, which is mostly closed. Then he's got three different sets of additional hands. We've got one that's sort of reaching or grabbing. We have hands that look more like they might be sort of swimming or paddling. And then we've got another wide set. I don't see a ton of differentiation in some of the hand sets. So I don't know if three was necessary, but like they're really cool guys. So yeah, I'm really glad I jumped on and pre-ordered him because he's absolutely gorgeous and way better than the ones I found in the store at like Target. Well, that was my return to YouTube spooky video. Thanks for joining.